Notice I have a system here of three equations in three unknowns, so we will pick any two equations and eliminate a variable. Now I'll pick equation one and equation two because I notice that if I simply add those two equations, I notice the y's will subtract out. So I'm adding equation one and two. And watch what happens. 2x plus basically zero is 2x. Negative 3y plus 3y, that term subtracts out. And then plus 2z is equal to 4 plus 2 or 6. So that's equation 1 plus equation 2. Then normally what we do is we find any other two equations and we eliminate the same variable. But looking at these three equations, I see that this third equation happens to have no y term in it. So I'll simply write down now equation 3, which is x minus z is equal to negative 5. Now treat this as a system of two equations in two unknowns, and let's solve this system. To do so, I'll write the first equation down again, 2x plus 2z is equal to 6. The second equation I'll multiply through by 2. So 2 times x is 2x minus 2z is equal to 2 times negative 5, or negative 10. Notice what happens now. 2x plus 2x is 4x. The z's subtract out, and I have 6 minus 10, or negative 4. And if I divide both sides by 4, I'll have that x is negative 1. So I have an x value, it looks like we have one ordered triple solution. The x value is 1. How can we find the corresponding z value? Pick an equation in x's and z's only. I'll go ahead and pick equation 3. Since x is negative 1, minus z is equal to negative 5, I can solve this equation for z. So I'll have negative z is negative 5 plus 1, or negative 4, and if I solve for z, z is 4. So I know z is 4, and how do you think we can find y? Choose any equation now. Here's one in x's and y's only. You'll need an equation containing a y. Let x be negative 1 and or let z be 4. Solve it for y, and you'll find your y value. If you do so, you'll find that y is negative 2. So we have an ordered triple solution, and here it is.